In my last video, we saw how this uh, balance jewel uh, was damaged on this vintage Omega watch. And then we learned how to remove the broken jewel uh, with this uh, jeweling tool. And finally, we measured the old jewel so that we could determine which replacement to order. And so in this video, we're going to show you how to fit the new jewel. And so here we've received the, a packet of jewels and uh, as we open it we'll uh, just compare it to the old one and see what we have. So as we compare the old jewel with the new jewel, uh, you'll see that the uh, damage on the old jewel was quite astounding. Um, you can see the obviously the the hole is much larger. Now you may remember in the previous video I mentioned that the uh, new jewel uh, will be a hundredth of a millimeter larger in on the outside diameter. And so we're going to have to slightly remount the um, the hole in the base plate of the watch to accommodate for this. And so to do that, we're going to need the dueling tool again. And uh, we've chosen the correct size of Rima, uh, which will remount the hole to the exact diameter required to pressure fit this jewel. Once the hole is burnished to the correct uh, diameter, we're ready to press in the new jewel. And for that we're going to use one of these. It's called a pump pusher. And as you may notice, it's got a, a spring-loaded taper point on the end. This is for making sure that the jewel uh, is sat um, perfectly central uh, as the pusher presses down. Now before you move the old jewel, it's important to uh, take a recording of the depth uh, that it was set at originally so that we can represent that depth um, before pressing the new jewel in to the uh, base plate. Once we've determined the correct depth, we're ready to press in the jewel. Placing the jewel squarely over the hole in the base plate, we line it up and firmly press the jewel into place. And here's a close-up shot of the new jewel correctly fitted. Just uh, re-oiling the end stone. And screwing the end stone back into position. Once the, um, the pallets are back in, we can put the, uh, the balance in and give it a nice little kick start. So there we are. That's my um, short video on how to replace a, a balance jewel uh, using a friction fit uh, dueling tool. And I do hope you found that useful. And thank you for watching.